Hey, shalom, everyone. Um, <clears throat> no teachings today. Just wanted to give an update. Currently in uh, in Africa, in Uganda, and um, you know, part of our ministry is working with prisons. And um, so right now, like I'm traveling in the northern part of Uganda, uh, two three hundred kilometers a day, um, ministering in prisons, and uh, which is which is a wonderful blessing. So I just wanted to give you an update. And um, so some of the things we do is uh, we provide like soaps, razor blades, some types of food, some grains, sanitary for the women. And uh, the little we can do when we visit these prisons, um, we minister the gospel. But firstly, I want to say thank you to all those who donate to the ministry. And uh, I really appreciate you all. Maybe I'm, not, I'm not able to reach out to you, um, but I want to appreciate you all. And um, told our Rabbah and how bless you. And place the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on you in Yehoshua's name. So, yeah, I've been ministering in the prisons. It was day one yesterday and uh, had a long travel. And um, basically, uh, in the Most High was really gracious. Uh, ministering in the prisons based on the book of uh, 1 John, the book of Yochanan, chapter 4. So, I'm ministering out of that, it's trying to speak about love, I'm trying to speak about fear. Uh, trying to speak about how Elohim can dwell with us and even in the prisons how Elohim can dwell with them and that he's still got a plan for them to give them hope so we're getting lots of salvations where people are making an initial decision and saying that yeah they wanna they wanna they wanna commit commit themselves to Yehoshua and it's a Christianized place so like we're coming with the true name and revealing to them what the true name of the father and the son and they're loving it and um so uh this is the situation and uh, so we had about 70 to 80 salvations across three prisons yesterday and uh, we saw around 50 people delivered from the spirit of fear just immediately on the spot to uh, get them to pray for themselves in the prisons and they repeat after me we asked for love to come in and they got healed and uh, we had some uh, some healings as well around 80 odd healings across the three prisons again they were laying hands on themselves in the areas of their affliction and the Most High was gracious to heal them and we see a lot of these things happening in Africa so I wanted to report these things we saw like uh, various amount of different miracles uh, that have happened and healing so we're really great, grateful for that so I wanted to give this update and uh, it's the Shabbat today so Shabbat Shalom and uh, just having a walk and uh, I'll continue to update on uh, on the prisons over the next few days I'm here for another week so I appreciate you all and yeah bless you Nihosh will be with you and yeah if we want Elohim to dwell with us you know we need to love him and love one another it says no man has seen Elohim at any time so like, we haven't seen him but he can dwell with us and if he wants to abide in us so you can imagine that's the Godhead wanting to abide in us this tabernacle so how do we activate that love we need to love Yehoah I mean to love Yehoshua and then what? We need to love one another and, uh, one of the other things I spoke about that is written about us in a book so we don't need to be jealous over each other's blessings we don't need to be saying oh, I want what they've got no, he's written about us individually and when you understand that then you can start loving one another right? Yah bless you he made that set you free a short word for you to empower you like if you want Elohim to come and dwell and his supernatural power to dwell love him and love one another and you can only love him through keeping of the commandments the Torah so your heart bless you and your host shall keep you Shalom